Hello and welcome to an expert tip of working with Microsoft Word and today the focus is going to be utilizing the shift enter which is actually referred to as a soft return. Now I will be demonstrating this in Microsoft Word being the Microsoft Word nerd that I am however I'd like to point out that this methodology of the soft return is also applicable in Google Docs dare I say it and other word processing software systems as well. You can even use it on Facebook. Interesting. Now, what I'm going to do first off though is I'm going to approach the ribbon in my Microsoft Word and on the Home tab, you'll notice we've got the paragraph group and within the paragraph group we've got this funky little character sitting up here and in actual fact when you click onto this you can actually see formatting marks in your document so I'm just going to click onto it to turn it on and all of a sudden now you'll be able to see where I've actually pressed the enter key in fact I can also see when I've hit the tab key so you can see this little arrow happening the reason why we like to turn this on is that if you are editing in a document you can in fact see these formatting marks and know where you're placing yourself and see if there are actually some formatting marks that you do need to remove or add text in before or afterwards and so on so I'm going to get straight into the soft return at this point. One dilemma that's often faced by users is when they type in an address. So I'm just going to do that right at this moment. I'm just going to make up a fictional address. And I'm going to press enter now to type in Melbourne Victoria 3000. Now at this point you can see this big space between the two lines of text which is of course not something we like to see in an address area. At this point people tend to come and select all this and start to adjust line attributes and all that type of thing. Whereas in actual fact I'm just going to come back to where I've got that hard return or that where I've hit the enter. I'm going to delete that and I'm going to go shift enter and without having to fiddle fart around I've managed to get that working really nicely. So just remember the soft return removes any paragraph attributes that have been aligned such as line spacing. Let's have a look at another example. I'm going to come down a few lines at this point and I'm going to talk about bullets. So I'm going to come in and I'm just coming up to my paragraph group again and just turning on our standard bullets. Now at this point I'm going to type in ice cream and then I'm going to hit enter and of course we know at this point we will get another bullet and I'm going to type in donuts. Now Underneath donuts, what I want to have is a little mention that we have glazed chocolate or strawberry. <laughs> now, what people do is they hit enter, they either backspace to turn off the bullets, or they go and turn the bullets off manually, all sorts of different techniques. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is I'm going to come back, sorry I accidentally deleted that, come back to my donuts. And this time I'm going to use my shift enter and when I use my shift enter you can see that I've immediately perfectly lined up straight underneath my donuts and I can start typing in chocolate, glazed, strawberry and of course once I hit my enter I'm back to my normal bullets again. So I hope you've enjoyed this little tip and trick about using the soft return in Word and I hope it will benefit you immensely. Thank you.